Dun, dun, dun. Register. <gasps> what colour is it? Red. This may look like any other card game, but these children at St Andrew's Primary in Plymouth are learning how to read. Engagement. Could be. It could be. Change the A to an A. Engagement. The creator of the game, Trugs, is Joanna Jeffrey, a teacher who specialises in dyslexia. She uses phonics, a style of teaching now on the school curriculum involving the sounds the letters make. Genius and engineer. Excellent. But this is phonics with a difference. This, this game is ideal for those children that may be struggling to read or perhaps have dyslexic tendencies. Yet that said, we play it with the gifted and talented children at our school and they have equally uh, as much fun. It's very discreet. The, the children don't actually realise that they're learning and um, that's, the, that's the nicest part about the games. The Trug scheme is selling to schools around the region and now the world. This week, educationalists from Malaysia came to Devon to see how it works. They want to take the scheme back to their country. Joanne hopes it'll go global, yes, big business, but it's more than that. It's not about making money, it's about enabling everybody in the world, or everybody anywhere, to teach children to read. People think that our language is really difficult and irregular, but it isn't. It's fun, and I think they should need to have that kind of environment, because while doing that, they, 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 it's about incidental reading. Yeah? Uh, so... Um, this is why I'm excited about it, so this is why I would like to team up with, with Joanna and bring um, the whole thing back to Malaysia. There is an ongoing debate over the best way to teach reading. Whilst not everyone is convinced phonics is the way forward, the government has pledged to encourage and improve phonics teaching in all schools. This game provides one more tool in the difficult task of grappling with the English language. Caris Edwards, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth.